Judging by everyday amateur radio experience, the red current doesn't flow through a capacitor and alternating current flows. You can, for example, connect a lamp or loudspeaker through a capacitor, and they will keep working. For understanding why it is so, we should examine capacitor assembly. A capacitor is two or more metallic sheets divided with dielectric material. This material is often a mica, air or ceramics and other best insulators. It is natural that red current cannot flow through such an insulator. But why does alternating current flow through it? It is especially strange, taking into account that the same ceramics used as porcelain knobs insulate alternating current wire excellently and make a wonderful insulator used in soldering guns, electric irons and other heaters that work well for alternating current. Such a test helps us to conclude that alternating current flows through a capacitor and moreover. The better insulated electric material is, the less easier it flows. But in spite of seeming conclusiveness of such tests, electric current, nor constant nor alternating, doesn't flow through a capacitor. And how will a capacitor behave in a direct current circuit? Our electric pump will pump charges on one cover and pump charges onto the other cover. A different situation is in an alternating current circuit. In this circuit, a pump pumps electric charges, or on one side, either on the other side. As soon as there are a greater number of charges on one side in, in comparison with the other, a pump begins to pump charges in the opposite direction. Charges will be circulating in a circuit constantly. It means that in spite of a capacitor doesn't carry current, it exists as charge and discharge current of a capacitor.